Imagine a tiny spacecraft, a messenger from Earth, launched in 1977, Voyager 2. It was our grand tour of the outer solar system, visiting Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune in one journey. Voyager 2 carries a golden record, a message in a bottle holding the sounds and images of our world. It's a testament to human curiosity, our desire to look up and wonder, are we alone? This little robot symbolizes our relentless desire to understand our place in the universe, its journey is our journey, a story of exploration still being written even today, out in the cold silent darkness beyond our solar system, it is a triumph of the human spirit. In January 1986 after nearly 9 years, Voyager 2 arrived at Uranus, the first and only human-made object to do so. Uranus was a faint blue-green dot in our telescopes, but Voyager 2 changed everything. For a few hours it flew past this tilted mysterious world, spinning on its side with an axis tilted nearly 98 degrees. Imagine a planet where one pole faces the sun for 42 years, then 42 years of darkness. Voyager 2's images revealed a serene blue-green ball, but closer inspection showed faint cloud bands and storms, with winds whipping at hundreds of kilometers per hour. It discovered 11 new moons and studied Uranus's dark rocky rings, unlike Saturn's bright icy ones. Voyager 2 also found Uranus's magnetic field was wildly tilted and off-center, creating a corkscrew-shaped field. This suggested something strange was happening deep inside Uranus. The flyby was a race against time. Voyager 2 had only hours to gather data, measuring temperatures, mapping the magnetic field and snapping pictures. The data became the foundation of everything we know about Uranus. It was a brief but brilliant encounter, a single visit that painted the first detailed portrait of one of the solar system's most mysterious worlds. Voyager 2 opened the door to Uranus, then flew on, leaving us with a beautiful icy puzzle. After Voyager 2's flyby, scientists saw Uranus as a world of cold and quiet. Its upper atmosphere was the coldest in the solar system, minus 224 degrees Celsius, even colder than Neptune. The leading theory? Uranus lacked a significant internal heat source. Unlike Jupiter, Saturn and Neptune, it seemed to radiate only as much heat as it absorbed making it an inert world. Perhaps a giant impact, the same one that knocked it on its side caused it to lose its internal heat. This made Uranus the odd one out among the giant planets, a quiet sibling in a family of stormy giants. Scientists built models, a small rocky core, a slushy mantle of ices, and a thick hydrogen-helium atmosphere but little to stir the mixture. Uranus was thought to be geologically and atmospherically quiet, a sleeping giant. For decades this became the standard textbook description. Uranus challenged our ideas about how giant planets form and evolve. We thought all massive worlds should have hot cores but Uranus seemed to break the rule. It presented a fascinating if static picture, a world frozen in time. This was the story written by Voyager 2's data, but science is about questioning, and as we'd later find there was another chapter hidden in that data. Fast forward to today, 2025. The story of the cold, quiet giant has changed. A new study reveals Uranus is not as cold and dead as we thought, it has a hidden fire. Uranus radiates about 12.5% more energy than it absorbs from the sun, this means it has an internal heat engine after all. The old idea was that Uranus simply lacked heat, the new idea is more complex. There may be a barrier deep within the atmosphere trapping heat inside like a planetary thermos. The core is warm, but insulation keeps the heat locked in, leaving the upper layers cold. This internal heat could drive weather and geological processes, stirring the planet's deep slushy mantle. It could power Uranus's strange off-kilter magnetic field. Uranus is not inert, it's an active, evolving world with a hidden inner life. This discovery transforms Uranus from a quiet outlier into a key player in the solar system's story. It's more like its giant siblings with its own internal furnace, a relic of its formation. The difference is how it manages that heat. This is a powerful reminder, planets are complex and can hold surprises for decades. The serene face Voyager 2 saw was hiding a secret, a warm heart beneath a cold exterior. Science progresses, long-held beliefs overturned by new evidence, opening new questions and possibilities. How did scientists make this discovery? There was no new spacecraft at Uranus. The answer? A brilliant combination of old and new. The key was Voyager 2's 1986 data stored for decades. Our ability to analyze that data has grown immensely. New computer models simulate Uranus's atmosphere in ways impossible before. Scientists fed the old Voyager data into these models peering deeper than ever before. By modeling how sunlight interacts with Uranus's gases, 
they calculated how much energy the planet absorbs and radiates. The result? Uranus gives off more energy than it takes in. Old data, viewed through new technology, told a different story. It's a scientific detective story, crucial clues hiding in plain sight for 39 years. This proves old data isn't dead data. With new techniques we can find revolutionary insights. Exploration isn't just about new places, it's about new ways to understand where we've already been. The journey of discovery continues long after the spacecraft has flown by. The discovery of Uranus's internal heat source changes everything. For years Uranus was a problem for planet formation models, which predicted all giant planets should have leftover internal heat. Jupiter, Saturn and Neptune fit the model, Uranus didn't. Now with this new finding Uranus fits too, it just traps most of its heat inside. Our general theory of planet formation is likely correct. This gives us confidence when studying exoplanets. Uranus-sized worlds probably have internal heat sources. Uranus is no longer an exception but a fascinating example of the rule. The discovery of a heat-trapping layer opens new research. What is it? Why does Uranus have it but not Neptune? Ice giants like Uranus and Neptune are now thought to be the most common type of planet in our galaxy. Understanding our local examples is crucial for understanding thousands of others. Uranus is now a vital laboratory for planetary science. By studying Uranus we learn about the violent, chaotic processes that shaped our solar system. The history of one planet can tell us about the history of all. Uranus has just revealed a vital new clue. Today, July 27, 2025, Voyager 2 continues its journey, over 20 billion kilometers from Earth, in interstellar space. Its instruments are old, its power fading, but it still sends back data from the unexplored region between the stars. Built with 1970s technology, its endurance is a miracle of engineering and a testament to its creators. Voyager 2's legacy is immense, not just for discoveries but for inspiration. For nearly 50 years it's been our silent ambassador to the cosmos, expanding our sense of home. With this new discovery about Uranus, it continues to inspire. The journey of discovery is never truly over. This finding reignites excitement for a return to Uranus. A dedicated mission could map its mysterious heat-trapping layer, study its magnetic field, and explore its moons. Voyager 2 was the scout. Now it's time for the main expedition. Voyager 2 is more than a spacecraft. It's a story of human ambition and curiosity. It reminds us the universe is full of wonders, waiting to be discovered. Sometimes, the greatest discoveries come from decades of patient work. As Voyager 2 sails into the interstellar dark, it carries our hopes and dreams. It is a beacon, lighting the way for future explorers. It calls to us across the void, keep reaching for the stars.